Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. Okay, today I had a user request, how do I put a hard return in a concatenate formula? Um, so I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. But uh, before we do a concatenate formula, let's do a couple of other things real quick. Um, first, I'm going to go into my formula bar um, or hit F2 and you'll see I'm editing a cell and let's put in a hard return and you can do that with your alt and then the enter key you can see the hard return is in there now and I'm gonna just go ahead and hit enter so if we want to know what uh, is represented by that hard return Excel does have a number value for the hard return and what you want to do is you can do equals code returns a numeric code for the first character in the text string uh, in that is used by your computer so you can use the code function to find out what is the hard return that I put in cell C4 so let's go ahead and see it and it returns the number 10 so you can uh, see that a hard return is the number 10 and we're gonna use that in a different function um, there's a function called char like for character um, so we're gonna do equals char and you can see it returns the character specified by the code number from the character set on your computer. Do a parentheses, do the number 10, and uh, it put a hard return in there, but we really can't see a hard return. And they asked, how do we do this in concatenate formula? So let's go ahead and create our concatenate formula. And I'll get rid of that chart 10 for right now. We'll do a text string of, let's say, a, 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 end quotes, do a comma for our next one, and that's where we're gonna do char parentheses number 10 and we're going to do another comma for our third text string b b b b and end our concatenate formula let's go ahead and hit enter now it is that hard return is in there however um, excel uh, doesn't yet need to use that hard return it's just throwing all of the information in the cell so to show the hard return we would also need to hit wrap text button and you can see that that hard return is in fact in there so it's four a's hard return which is that char of 10 and then four b's so that's how you can put a hard return in a concatenate formula um, and uh, uh, one other thing i don't usually use a concatenate formula i just go ahead and write a formula itself so i'm going to do equals quote a a a a quotes do the comma i'm sorry not the comma do the ampersand that is going to do the same thing as that concatenate formula. We're gonna do a char of 10. We're gonna do another ampersand. So these are kind of like those commas in the concatenate formula. Um, and then we're gonna do quotes B, 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 end quotes, enter. And once again, I'll need to apply the wrap text formatting to that cell. And you can see the hard return is in there. So hopefully this helped you figure out how to put a hard return in your concatenate formulas. And maybe you can save yourself some typing and not use the word concatenate at all. And just put in the ampersands uh, with your equal sign and put your other information in as text. Hopefully you learned a cool tip or trick here today. Uh, once again, this is Steve Equals True. Please consider subscribing to my video channel so that you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox and head on over to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you'll see other great tutorials. Thank you.